Hey everyone, my name is Orbit and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited that I am finally able to do astrophotography again after quite a long time of not being able to. The reason being is because I sold my old setup, which wasn't the best setup in the world, to get a brand new setup, which I am absolutely loving so far. Over my test nights, I've taken some nice images with it. This one being of the Silver Sliver Galaxy, and this one just being a quick one hour on the horse head. If it had more integration time, I bet you that would have been a great image. I am loving the focal length of this scope. I'm close to like 1500 equivalent, which I absolutely love. That means galaxies are fantastic at this focal length. And uh, I could not wait for galaxy season. But right now, it is still fall, going into winter. So I still have a bit of time before that happens. Anyway, let's go downstairs, let's set the gear up, and in a few hours, it'll be time to image. This is a fantastic mount with great tracking and way more consistent and reliable than my old Smart EQ Pro, which was also by an Optron. I am really, really happy about this mount. This is by far the best mount that I ever owned and the heaviest. And it can, and it can easily support my six inch snoot and if you added another counterweight, it might even be able to support an 8 inch. But uh, I would personally stick 6 inches just to make sure that you're not putting too much on this mount. And up next, we have the Quattro 150B. I've been getting fantastic results with this. It's nice and sharp. Even at not perfect collimation, the sharpness still surprised me. So I'm really excited to see what this thing can do. For the camera, we have the ZWO ASI 585, which is also the ZWO version of the Player One Uranus C, which both have the IMX 585 sensor. It does absolutely amazing for both planetary and deep space. And we are using the Koa corrector, which the scope actually comes with, which is really nice. We also are using a few extenders here to make sure we get the correct amount of back focus we need so we don't have any bad star issues. And for the guiding, which now I can finally, after months of not having a dew strip for my guide scope, because I used the uses for the refractor I had, I can finally use this for the guide scope and make sure no dew uh, makes the guiding significantly worse. The guide scope is the SV Boney. 30 millimeter, and the guide camera is the ZWO 120mm Mini. I've already had this guiding set up for a while, but I haven't made any videos with it. Um, I had it over the summer with my old rig before I sold it to end up getting the Quattro and uh, the Sim 26. This is a custom dew shield to make sure even on the foggiest and dewy of nights that no dew gets the primary, secondary, or the camera sensor back in there. And here is the software being used to control my rig. It is Nina. It is a great software for controlling on this equipment. Now because my mount does not have a polar scope on it, it only uses electronic polar alignments. I have to polar align using the TPPA uh, plug-in Anina, which works pretty well. You might be able to see it, there's the moon, next to there is Jupiter, is what we're going to be collimating on. Slewing with the mount to uh, get framed up here with Jupiter, which I'm going to use my finder scope in actually to do. We also have cat company, and I am going to be getting the laptop set up with Nina. Also for guiding, I am using PHD2. To we are off in imaging with the rig. We are shooting the heart nebula right now, and I'm going to show you a single sub. So here is a very noisy single sub. There's Malot 15. Got a little star cluster over here, and you can just kind of see the nebula wrapping around. This is a very short, very noisy sub. We're gonna have to have quite a bit of data to get something out of this. 